Hello everybody, welcome back to Red. Uh, it is time to discuss uh, that teaser video. Uh, it is happening, Red 2.0 is officially a thing. What, this, this game is picking up my controller, huh? No, I don't, I don't play this game on a controller. Huh, okay, apparently I can play this game on my controller. Weird. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to be discussing almost everything that's updated in the game. Uh, first is arcade mode. That's going to be sa sa <laughs> blah, blah. That's going to be saved for its own video. Uh, so I'll talk about that shortly. Um, so yeah. Um, so most of the other stuff that's so most of the other stuff that's been edited has been roster related. So let's hop into training mode and get in depth with the nitty gritty of things that have been changed. So anyway, um, first up in the video, I said there are some new characters, and there definitely are some new characters. Uh, replacing some stupid Akuma edit I had before is Princess Sissy from Matramele. She is the final boss of that game, and she is incredibly, incredibly nuts. <laughs> let, let, let's say that. Uh, she's not worthy enough to be in arcade mode, but whatever. Uh, and I believe the second and last a uh, new character that has been added into the game has is Dizzy from Guilty Gear, uh, because she also is the final boss of Guilty Gear X. So I put both of them in there. More females in the game, and they are pretty interesting. And as you can see down there, there is a random select button, so you can now hit random as opposed to the stupid bullshit you went through before. And the character Triple X Two has been removed because he's a black Ken. Literally the most unoriginal fucking thing in the world. Uh, so anyway, a lot of the roster has still been, is still exactly the same, you know, in all of its stupendous stupidity. Uh, but you know, it, it's it's such a vast majority of good characters to bad characters that really you can't argue. So anyway, uh, next has been some updated characters. I have some updated some characters that have been in the game before. So first is Gainitz. He is now ripped from KOF 96 as opposed to 98 UM. And it is fucking spectacular. Uh, I don't remember if this Ignis was in the original or not, but I have this Ignis and he's a lot more ridiculous than he was before. So he's been edited. Um, we have another Chrysalid, because uh, the Chrysalid I had before was a, wee, a bit glitchy and a bit weird, so I decided to stick in this Chrysalid, who is hopefully better. Uh, now we have another Magaki, who I believe is easier to play and has much more aggressive AI, so he will be a lot tougher in the arcade mode than he was prior. Uh, okay, so nothing new to this row. We have changed Apocalypse. He is now uh, mostly source accurate with Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter or X-Men vs. Street Fighter, if you prefer, uh, because the other one was also glitchy, much like cl 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 Chrysalid. So, you know, we're ironing out these bugs slowly but surely. Uh, we have updated Young Geese. His portrait is now from Art of Fighting 2, and my god, is his AI fucking crazy. Also, he doesn't experience any more glitches, so that's always fantastic. Um, is there anything more? Oh yeah, we have uh, Magneto, who is now source accurate with X-Men Children of the Atom, which is always a good thing to be source accurate. Uh, I already told you about her. Uh, we have Jetta, who is more accurate to his Darkstalkers version. He's not uh, Marvel-driven like before. Uh, and I believe... Yeah, and also I believe I did edit um, Cyber Akuma, although I could also be sadly mistaken. Um... I don't know if I tried to update Mukai, but I can't remember. Uh, and then... There may have been one or two characters I may have edited down here. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I think this is... Like, after these few rows, this is where the edits stop. Because I just... I couldn't find anything better than what I had, but... You know, again, if you have anything in this roster uh, better than what I have, please send it in to me, because I really would love to edit this roster. Maybe, just maybe with enough work, we can make a 3.0 happen. I don't know. But honestly, I feel this is the most complete version of the game I have as of yet. But finally, the two biggest updates we have are Paris Elsia, 
who finally doesn't have that stupid portrait anymore, and she is a whole lot more aggressive than before, uh, and trust me, she will kill you horribly. And last but not least is the General, which if you watch the combat comms of a new nightmare, uh, I have that, well, I don't know if I have it exactly, but I do, for the most part, have that General featured in that video, and he is borderline impossible to defeat, so good luck. Alright, and now with that, we have the boss characters. They are no longer on the uh, corners of the screen because you can see we now have five final boss characters as opposed to just four. So we have kept Jotaro, uh, Kenshiro, and Saitama for those who love their anime. But we cut out Ichigo because honestly he was not really posing that much of a threat. So we put in Light Yagami from Death Note, who uh, is basically, if you don't kill him fast enough, he kills you. So there you go. And to go along with all these Dragon Ball characters, I stuck Goku in there, who also went toe-to-toe -to -toe with General in a video I saw, and I went and I picked up that exact Goku. So, you know, have fun. I also put them up to the top of the roster, because uh, next to the portrait pictures, to make them a little more prevalent to see, but at the same time, again, making them confusing to access. Uh, the reason I put them in the corners of the floor was to try to limit their accessibility, but, you know, even if you don't want to, even if you don't want to manually select them, there's still the random select button, which will allow you to play all 370 characters in the entire game. Uh, but now I believe we can go on to the biggest feature, which I guess I'll pick Young Geese for the sake of showing off this new version of his, which in turn will let me pick Cyber Akuma, which is always pretty. We now have 100, 100 stages, um, all properly labeled, all at the same resolutions, and all have custom music cust uh, fitted for each character, and stages, um, Yeah, stages 1 through 48 are all featured in the arcade mode. You feel me? Uh, and then 49 to 100 are not featured in arcade mode, so there is a difference. So the first few stages are included in the game's arcade mode, whereas all of the rest of them are going to be uh, not in arcade mode. So you can see in the... Um, select file and uh, using the select that is included in the um, files for this game that we have some new stuff and uh, plus we went out and grabbed some more obscure stages so let's go to Lord Zed's level uh, just to see so there you go we got Akuma's flying in pose which is always nice and we got young geese just chilling he's got a buzzsaw attack very nice and you throw his Rapukins. So there you go. Technically, I would have killed Cyber Akuma right there. But guess what? I didn't. Does it not reduce meter? Eh, whatever. I don't know how to do his desperation attack, but what the fuck ever. So, there you go. Uh, those are the characters and stages that have been altered. Uh, so there you go. Uh, huh. Yeah, there wasn't very much to add. Um, apart from that, we have the same, uh, same modes as always. You've got Team Up Arcade, where you can choose many different characters to also compete against that new brand new arcade ladder that I am going to be talking about in the very next episode. Probably the next video. And then I think that may be the last of the information type videos. Then after that we're just going to shoot off a bunch of exp exhibition matches. Uh, anyway, let's go to the options to see what you get packed into the game. The game will come packed in hardest difficulty, so unless you're really good at Mugen games or just fighting games in general, uh, you should now have a really, really tough time with this game. Because I believe stage two 
like, even at stage two, there are really big hurdles you have to jump over. And, yeah, there are some characters you can pick that to where you can just give up, choose them, and beat the game. But it's not fun that way. It's not fun. Uh, <laughs> the, the real fun is trying to use a character that is much weaker than what's in store for you. Uh, ten stages of absolute torture are featured in this game. Uh, anyway, uh, standard life, as always. You've got uh, a timer by default, because that's how fighting games are played. Game speed. Oh, you can turn up the game speed? Wow. Uh, you can turn up the speed to tastes. Uh, it comes at max master volume, but that's my preference. Uh, config. Uh, controllers are enabled, so you can just stick in your controllers. Uh, there you go. Single versus simul advantage. Okay. If player KO'd... Let's do that. Let, let's do that. There you go. So with that, I believe we now have our packed-in features that you're going to be getting with this game. So, there you go. Uh, and if not for a certain video coming out later, I will be doing arcade mode. And arcade mode is probably going to drain a hundred tons of my patience, depending on who I get. But anyway, I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on Red 2.0, and it's going to be better than ever. Keep the really evil dudes alive, alive and well. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.